What a gorgeous day here in Ann Arbor. Michigan with a seven to nothing lead over Northern Illinois. Terry Gann and Jamal Anderson and Scott Walker. Henny at the end of that long drive to Jason Avon who kept the feet in, the catch in the corner. And now it's second and 11 for Northern Illinois. Garrett Wolf gets the call again. From their own five, got a hole over the left side and all the way out to the 23. And Jamal, you get a look at the speed that Absolutely. allowed him to gain over 1,600 yards a year ago. Yeah. Seven games last year, and he started three for an injured Josh Haldy. His big win was against Bowling Green, a very good team last year. Wolf out, and a solid game. This ground attack and make Phil Horvath throw the ball. Straight drop this time for Horvath, who swings it out to the flat as Wolf powers his way across the 45. So Wolf showing you some speed and some strength. He's bigger, 6'1", 223. Wolf goes about 177 pounds. Swings it out again inside the 40. Britt Davis, who is a backup quarterback. Broadview, Illinois, along with Chatone Powers and his brother, Brandon Davis, all three on this squad. Horvath moves straight ahead, twisting, lost his helmet, but has the first down. Second and 12, Harrison at tailback. There's the throw over the middle. Hurd's got another one, should have a first down again. Third and five. Horvat checking off the play, throwing deep to the end zone in the corner. Incomplete contact, no call. Hurd, the intended receiver, Grant Mason on the coverage attempt. Up and good. So the sophomore from Naperville, Illinois, with the Huskies on the board. Long, impressive drive coming off the same from Michigan. It's 7 3. Figure out some way to stop this offense. You know, the defensive line of Northern Illinois is, is going to have to just pick it up. Obviously, when you see Mike Hart there, you're going to have to worry about Mike Hart as a running fan. And then, you know, that's something that Lloyd Carr talked about how he's improved. Another thing he's improved in the offseason. Tyler Ecker in that tight end now. And he under pressure, but steps up nicely. Fires it over the middle, and Avant with another catch. Down to the 34 in the first down. Third catch already this afternoon for Jason Avant. Tight end set with one of them. That's a boy in the backfield now. And he, so they have the screen of Hart, bouncing off of one tackler. He broke it down the sideline. Hart to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Four yards to the end zone, Henny to Hart. This is why you don't hear too many people. We will mention it just for the sake of saying it that Mike Hart is not the biggest guy, but you see him pad level, great balance, great ability when he drops his shoulders and continues to run. And, and that's what he did all last year in the Big Ten. You, you're worried about him coming in. Was he big enough to handle it? Now he's running over defensive line. Rivas on for a line drive, extra point up and good. And Mike Hart might be 5'9 and under 200 pounds, but he just ran over Jason Hutton, who goes about 240 or so. First in the rest with Toledo. Wolf bounces outside, turns the corner with speed. Garrett Wolf across midfield, cuts back, still up. Wolf is gone. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Terry, we talked about trying to contain Garrett. Hendrick on for the extra point. Now inside the right upright. But Joe Novak, in his 10th year as the head coach for Northern Illinois, knows he's got a good one coming back to open up the season. And Preston, your three wideouts. A lone setback. Tough yards up to about the 34. Jason Hutton, the senior from Chicago. Terrace was to be the starter last year, just before the opener and now Penny as the starter there's a vault with another catch he's got four this afternoon that's a first down and that one was a little bit behind a kid we spent some time with him on the, on Thursday kick out tap the catch he may have another Michigan first down Adriel Hansborough on the coverage and eventually the tackle I know it's going to be tough for this Northern Illinois defensive line but they've got to find a way a three receiver set, Hart in the backfield as they spread it 
And he over the middle of his fifth catch already, but a strong tackle by Jason Hutton, the senior from Chicago. Jason. Will Paul, former defensive tackle, now in at fullback. Hart trying to pound it over the right side. Hart to the 22. Yeah, you had to. And he gives it to the freshman, true freshman Kevin Grady. Straight ahead for another Kevin first down. Ball, Very Kevin. English, Richard freshman out of Aurora, Illinois. Nearly even. Basically is even. Hart must through down to the 12. Hart, the ball so Hart picking Dudley not being here this year. 13th play of the drive. Heading under a little pressure to the corner of the end zone. Contact flag interference. Feet just getting caught up with each other, and Yvonne does a great job of reaching for it, make sure he gets it. And first and goal from the two, Hart high into the air and into the end zone. His second touchdown of this opener. There you go. Again, Terry, you got to credit that right side of the line. You see Leo Hennigy pulling, Adam Krause. Matt Lentz and Reuben Riley all just creating a wall for Mike Hart to just come down and just jump over the top. Jared Rivas on for the extra point. Three-year starter has it blocked. And that will go out of the back of the end zone. Quince Holman, number 96, the man who got high into the air to block the extra point. General scholarship fund, first and 10. At the 31. Look out for Davis. There goes the blitz. Great pickup. Here comes Wolf. Inside the 20, inside the 15. He lost the football at the end, but may have gotten him back. We'll see. Trying to sort things out. Horvath thinks he still has it. Either way. Nope. Michigan's got the football. Horvath drops back here and gets up under pressure of Prescott Burgess and just kind of dumps it inside. The Wolf, who on his way down, just gets tackled from the back and stripped. Like Brandon, Brandon Engelman. Engelman. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Is it Avon? Is it Avon? He said, I don't really care. So what does your mother call your last name? Uh, she doesn't care either. <laughs> so, okay. Complete to the far sideline. Up at the 44, there is Avon on cue with another big catch. I know before he, he stepped out. Yeah, I know he's frustrated because he had nothing but open field in front of him. He's been under pressure once. Eight and nine on third down. Here comes the pressure this time. No, they missed him. And he gets it away and overthrows Ecker, the tight end. Almost on cue, like somebody from Northern Illinois is listening yeah. to us. At his own 10. Michigan does punt the football. First punt of the afternoon. Powers lost the football. Still loose. Still loose. They'll sort it out. The ball at the 13. Michigan football. You never want to see a guy inside the 20-yard line trying to do anything cute with the ball on a punt. You know, when you're in this situation in the game, you know, you're under a little bit of pressure. You're looking at him right here. It's not, there's not a guy right in front of him, but when you're that deep in your own territory, you always want to try to be safe with the football and maybe fair catch it. How about Ross Ryan, the punter, scrambling down there to get it? Five until the break. Michigan in a two tight end set. Hart behind a lead blocker. Dances inside. Fights down to the five. And Northern Illinois had to know what was coming. When you see Tyler Eckert. Well. Second and two. Why not give it back to Hart? Spins down to the one. The most impressive thing about my goal, the true freshman Kevin Grady in there. Brian Thompson, the fullback. Grady is first touchdown ever here in Ann Arbor. The first of many, no doubt. Trying to, trying to run the clock out on Michigan. 
Rivas had one blocked, and he missed the field goal. This one up and good. And number four, Michigan at home, rolling right now, 27 to 10 with 27 seconds until half. And keeping Michigan off balance. He said, you know, he doesn't believe the hype about this Michigan defense being weak. He felt like their defensive line was strong. He has a lot of respect for him, but he also knows he has a lot of weapons on his side of the football. Big third down for both the Husky offense and the Wolverine defense. Orbath, play action. Goes to the end zone, throws this one away, though. No one there. Yeah, it was no options for Phil Horvath. Do the smart thing, throw it out of bounds. But it's like 16 of 21 last year. And it's blocked. Scramble and picked up. Fallen on at the 24. John Thompson, number 49, may have been the man. They get up and get a piece of that one. Yeah, I brought this up earlier when the Northern Illinois defender blocked the ball. You cannot any longer jump on the back of guys. So you see this tremendous push in the middle from guys who can't use their teammates to get up. They're just pushing here to try to break into the middle and get their hands up right in the path of the kick. From the shotgun this time, Horvath. Tipped up, and this one is picked off. Hall on the interception at the 25. Pat Massey, the man who tipped it at the line of scrimmage. You got it, you got two. And now Braylon Edwards isn't here, but he's got a host of guys he can go to, and has today. Caught a little bit behind him at the 21, Doug Dutch on the reception. We go to John Saunders in New York again. John Garrett. Revis on for another try. This one from 38 yards. This one from 48 earlier in the game. This one up and good, though. Junior from Tampa, Florida. Another three on the board for the Wolverines. They lead 30 today. That's good credit. They've come up with the big play, causing the turnover, but they haven't been able to stop the progression. There's another fumble. It's free, and it's Michigan football. Another big play by the defense. Right, you know, and a guy whose name we've been calling all day, Lamar Woodley again. Lloyd Card said to us yesterday, he is one of the best players in the country on either side of the football. You get a look at him right there, again, going against Doug Free, who's the best, one of the best, best blockers in the MAC. And Lamar Woodley's just able to get around him, and his combination of size and explosiveness, just um, from a defensive lineman he can, who can play defensive end or linebacker, that's just a dangerous combination. Off weekend, all through Monday night here on ABC. Gutierrez off the play action under pressure, throws Avant with a leaping catch inside the 15. Nine catches on the day for Jason Avant. You get a look at Jason Avon, who's going to be all the way on the right side of the field, is going to come across the line of scrimmage. And basically, at this point, he's just trailing Matt Gutierrez to see when there was going to be a chance to throw. Makes a great catch, even with a guy behind him coming up to the Rose Bowl. But I just don't see anything on the horizon where Lloyd Carr is going to walk away from this program. Play action. Gutierrez still looking. Throws it away. I'm not sure, even though he is a very respected college football coach, who has won a national championship in 97, all the Big Ten titles we talked about, that he yet gets the credit that he deserves. From the shadow into the sun, Rivas up and good once again. So number four in Michigan, three more on the board, and a 33-10 lead over Northern Illinois here in the opener. So some things to work on still for Jim Herman and the defense. Okay. To complete. Out across the 40 to the 45-yard line. Third and two. Horvath to Harris. Outside, he's got a first down and a lot more inside the 22. The 16, we go to John in New York. and contained teams, and uh, they have the potential to be back in the Rose Bowl again. First and goal from the three. Harris hit hard at the line, drives ahead, gets to the end zone, touchdown. Extra point by Nendrick. Nendrick is going to be up and good. This is a team that is going to be awfully tough to stop come the max schedules, Northern Illinois. With these two guys and the capability they possess, we'll be just fine in the wide receiver position. 
keep it on the ground again inside the 30. Ball carried by goes Elijah Bradley, the senior from Hercules, California. He's getting some playing time this afternoon. to the Iowa game back in October 2002, last time they lost at the big house. Hanley bouncing outside. Run down from behind at the 22 as the final seven seconds of yet to be played here. Seven and that's it from the big house. So they'll start the clock, that's it. Lloyd Carr, another win. The Wolverines start the season with a win over a Mac opponent, John Novak, and Northern Illinois, 33 to 17, your final score from Ann Arbor as we take a look at our Dodge defensive playbook. Yeah, Terry, you're gonna get a look at it right here, number 49, John Thompson, right here, is gonna come in, break through the A-gap, and block that PAT, block the extra, excuse me, block the field goal attempt by Northern Illinois. And the fumbles late in the first half, really killing Northern Illinois' chances. Henny, another big day to start this season. 33-17, your final, Michigan with the win. John and the guys come up from New York right after this break.